One, two, all right. I see my audio bar jumping, so I'm going to give myself a thumbs up so that I know it's recording. And we're going to see if we can hear me all right. And if we can, great. We will go ahead and start streaming. If not, I'll do a quick troubleshooting before I start streaming. Let's go up here. And then we're going to click over on this. Creator Studio. We're going to hit live streaming. Am I live? Live streaming stream help. And the, we're, it says we're live. All right, let's hear what I got. All right, let me move this down just a little bit. All right, perfect. So we're going to rename this. What do I have here? I have an HP uh, CPU fan failure repair. And we're going to go ahead and rename the stream to something a little more accurate. Uh, how to in style, I guess? How to repair a computer. That should work. All right, perfect. Uh, encoding overload. I think it's it should be fine. Let's lower this a little bit more. All right, let's try this. Only one way to figure out how well it works. All right, so let's go over to my desk cam, and we're gonna go right back real fast. <laughs> we're gonna remove the contact information of the customer out of screen view. All right, let's make sure everything else on my desk is appropriately placed. All right, that should do it. Let's try this again. Perfect. So here's the HP. So actually, I can turn on and show you first. Here's the problem. Screen comes on. We get this error message. I'm going to hold it up first. But the, uh, the error message reads, the system has detected that cooling fan is not operating correctly. Continue operation is not recommended because of blink, 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 but it's a CPU fan problem. So we're going to figure out why the CPU fan is not working correctly. First thing I do is I always take out the battery, and then you got to hit the power button a couple times to drain those uh, capacitors. So she said she tried taking it apart by herself and wasn't able to get it, so it might pop a little bit. Another awesome thing is that uh, the computer rattles. So you try to decide something is loose rattling on the inside. So then all I'm going to do is I'm going to start taking off these screws and popping the sucker open. And to do that, we're going to need a bowl. All right. Here's her hard drive. There's her RAM, there's her wireless card. Her hard drive was right here. Uh, this is just a little piece of paper to hold the, uh, to cover the RAM. Don't know why they have it, but they do. And then all we gotta do is start going around the edge and unscrewing everything. Now that this camera is a little bit higher, I may end up having to zoom it in. Because 1080p at this far of a distance, I doubt looks any good. It still says the uh, you're not receiving enough data. I'm not sure if that means I need to upload more bits faster, or if I need to have less bits faster in order to get enough data to YouTube. So right now it's at 3,000 uh, kilobytes. Kilobits. 
I'm not sure. I'm going to have to watch the replay and see what kind of quality this is at. So as I take these screws out, I'm just picking them up one at a time and looking at them to see if they are the same size. If they're all the same size, like this one is not the same size. So it goes in a different little pile in the bowl. And then all I got to do is remember what piles go where. Makes it a lot easier than having to remember every screw. It's just having to remember piles of screws. I don't know. That's how I learned. So this one's also different. And those are the same. So what I can do is I have one pile here. It has nothing. This pile has the card behind it. And this pile has the drive behind it. And it's just going to help me a little bit with memorizing where all these screws go. CD drive. Uh, hey, it's broken. So uh, the little clip on it's broken, so this part goes in and out. It still stays on, so there's uh, three clips to hold it. But uh, one of the three is kaput. That's okay. We got one. We got another one here. There we go. Is that all the screws? Looks like it. Alright, and I believe this is the type that has the keyboard pops out. So we're going to go ahead and open it. Yep, so the keyboard pops out in this one. So we're going to need to grab this tool right here. And we're just going to need to push these little clips in so that the keyboard will pop out. Now, well, let's grab this tool. Come on, keyboard. We'll see if I can push through on the back side. Sometimes they will have a spot that you can see all the way through, and you're able to push on the keyboard just a little bit to help pop it through. Is that enough? There we go. And pulls right out. Ooh, it's a bit dirty. So the keyboard just has that flap on its LVDS cable. Not the LVD, uh, ribbon cable. Going crazy. Got some more screws here. Three, four, five, I think there's six. And there's this one that's different. All right, and then there's two more ribbon cables, one that's for the touchpad, and there's going to be one right here for the power button. But they gave it a super long cable because you got to uh, pop off this part, the palm rest first, and then you can pull out that one. So now we should just be able to go along the edge. Oh, there's one more screw. Right here. So we just go around and we just slowly pop it open. There we go. Alright, so let's get the power button. There we go. Got that off. 
All right, we are almost to the fan. So the fan's right here. We're going to pull up the entire motherboard to get to the fan. So I'm going to start in this corner. Can't really see. I'll start in this corner. And I'm just going to work my way around the edge of the board, making sure all the wires are disconnected. So when I lift the board out, I shouldn't rip any wires. There we go. Alright, now we look for screws. There's just two screws, three screws holding it in. Let me uh, go ahead and... I got two more computers I'm working on on this side. I got one that's uh, installing updates, and I got one that's moving data. One of them needs to be finished in two and a half hours. Two. And the third one. Alright, so now the motherboard should just pop right out. Oh, we got one more thing. Here it is. There we go. Everything disconnected, and we got the motherboard out. So we're going to pull the screen so that this doesn't fall. Put it off to the side. Alright, so this CPU is like, or the fan is stuck, stuck to the point that. It doesn't spin at all. So it's just gunked up. Which is good, because you can repair gunk. So we got one screw on the side. Yeah, we're going to do the reverse one. Is that all the ones on that side? There's just one screw holding this fan in. One screw and some tape. Fingers are too fat. Get the needle nose pliers. What's time on the right tape? I'm pulling it. There we go. Alright, so it's not going to come off. So we're going to take the whole cooler off. Glued on tight. There's a lot of dust in here. I'm just throwing it on the floor at this point. All right. What we can do is we can go ahead and uh, clean off the CPU and the CPU cooler. Just get the old thermal paste off. And we get our Arctic Silver 5. Make sure not to waste any of it. We're going to put the cooler back on now. Halfway, halfway, 
three fourths, and then all the way. We go back and we do half the other half. We do the other half. We do the last fourth. That way it puts a little more even of a pressure down onto it to evenly smooth out the paste. All right, tape, go away. All right, he's got some micro screws. So we're going to set our motherboard off to the side. we got to grab our smaller screws. That window's almost done with updates. Alright, we're almost done. Here's the whole thing, so we're just going to... Uh, we're going to wipe it completely out. And then I'm going to put some WD-40 in there, see if we can stop whatever little friction there is. I mean, that was just from the outside of the fan casing. Let me go grab a couple Q-tips. Bought a 500 pack of Q-tips two and a half years ago, and I'm about 100 Q-tips into it. This is about the only time I ever use them. Is a uh, cleaning CPU fans. <laughs> I'll just get in between each one. We're just getting the dust out and all the extra gunk from between the blades. So that when I rev it back up here in a minute, it just doesn't instantly go back into the center of the CPU. Uh, cooler. Not the CPU, but the CPU cooler. There's still like no giving it. Still super tight. All right, I'm gonna have to go grab the WD-40 super fast. Put some WD-40 in there to help ease it up a little bit. All right, let me go grab that, and I will be back in a split second. I just have to get the WD-40 for the center pin of the fan. Alrighty, got the WD-40. Ooh, that's loud. Got the WD-40. Put this back on real fast. Get the tap down. I'm literally just going to Fill this with WD-40. And the idea is, we stick this in. So it's already, it's spinning now. It doesn't instantly stop, like it was a second ago. But that doesn't mean that it's clean. It just means that it spins. 
So we're going to try to bang that WD-40 out. Try to get some new one in. Let this spin one more time. And we're going to knock out what this has in it. And then I want to put more in. And then we're going to just keep what's left in there. The idea is to flush all the gunk out. By doing this a couple times, I should accomplish that. Alright, so we're going to refill it. That try to tip off. There we go. Stick this on. Oh, this is gonna work beautifully again. All right, now it's time to rebuild. Hey, there you go. So I want to build as much as I can on this towel with the fan, as this all drips back out because it there's little holes in the bottom to let the well, it's not meant to let the oil go through, but it lets the oil go through uh, so that we don't have a ton of excess oil inside of the computer. And when we turn it on, it's going to just spew it all over the insides. All right. And then all I'm doing is I just have to work backwards on these screws in the circle because I put them in the circle this way. And so now I just gotta start at the end and work my way back to the beginning. And it should be relatively easy. Alright, so we got the fan rebuilt. And then this just sets this way. Right on top. And then it had this one screw, the next screw in the list. And then one here. Oh yeah, that's the wrong side. Alright, it's screwed in. There we go, go back to the bigger head, and there we go. Put the fan back in. Now, I've done this enough times, I know this is gonna work, so we're not even gonna test it apart. But normally, it'd be a good idea to test it while it's open. But uh, I am running short on time, just for the next 10 tumbles. Try again. All right. Perfect. All right. But yeah, usually you want to test it before you put it back together. But I know this will work. Uh, oh, turn that upside down. Uh, so I got to work on this computer for a split second. This is just a data transfer. I'm not sure if you can see me. Yeah, you can't. Cool. Uh, this is just a data transfer. Still on? Wakey wakey. Here we go. So I'm gonna get their transfer started because I told them they would be ready before five. And this should do it. All right, so now that's transferring back to this. We're going to go ahead and uh, got that. So now we got to put this back into the case. And before we're gonna flip it over. Cool. I just wanna. It's so dusty. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to slightly clean everything just as I put it back together. I mean, the inside part here doesn't make too big of a difference. It's either going to be good enough or not good enough. Alright. So this goes back in. 
Actually, before we stick it in there. We're shaking up sound because remember that uh, something rattling loose. So that should have got out whatever piece of plastic was in there. Alright, so then we just stick this back in. Hey, you can't see because of the angle. Look at that. So I just slid this back in. And then I just go around plugging back in all those plugs I unplugged. By the way. A lot of this is just a memory game. One there. We got one here. There's one on that side, but I'll have to get it on that side. Got speakers. And then we got this video cable. There we go. All right, and this had three screws. Why don't you be these next three screws? One went up here in the top corner, and the other two went on the bottom. Now these screws don't need to be super tight. You need to tight enough that there's friction, but not so tight that it breaks the silicon. So these are wedged straight between the motherboard and the metal grommets. All right. Now all that's in, the top panel goes on. This is we need to the wipe down. Makes it look a little bit better. Now I'm going to clean the whole thing when I'm done. Much better. This is more just to get the parts that you don't see. So I gotta plug this power in first, and then it slides over the top, pushes through, just like that. And the whole thing just flips in. There we go. We're going to put the touchpad back in. If my sausage fingers will let me. There we go. And then it's the keyboard. We're going to try to get the dirt out of the keys some. There we go. Makes it just a little bit cleaner. I mean, Now I'm charging money to put a little bit of oil on the CPU fan. Uh, sure, they couldn't do it because they don't have the experience on how to open up the computer, and they couldn't. They didn't want to risk doing it wrong. Whoa! Like I just about did, uh, but it still takes time, and it's still nice. I got all these screws back in. So I knew the special one went there, and then the rest were all the same. I almost forgot the screws. I've definitely missed screws before in the past, and you get the whole thing sealed up and there's two extra screws. I know exactly where they go. 45 minutes to tear it all the way back apart and build it all the way back together again. Sometimes you just gotta do it just to get it over with. Alright, now we can put the keyboard in. And it just slides in. Clamp shut. And it pops right in place. And then I want that metal tool. Where are you? We're going to push this back up. Like that. There we go. That should be it for this side. That's all just easy reverse building. So we got two, which we're over here with the battery.
this like so. Yeah, I'm gonna need to have uh, this camera zoomed away in. I want it to be like here. I gotta figure out how to zoom it without losing pixels. Because right now, I mean, this is 1080p, and you're only getting like 300 pixels right here. Not enough pixels. Uh, let's see. These two are here. Talking. I'm gonna mess this up. Just like this. This special one was for the wireless card. This. Here we go. Plug the antenna right back in. And just like so. We can put the this plug in. And put this drive in and plug it in. And then it's just screws. Uh, let's go put the DVD drive. Slid back in. This one doesn't have any DVD drive uh, under screws. There we go. And then we just start screwing these in. Now I always like to do the outside screws first, and then do these. So the outside screws, the ones on there, will be visible on the outside of the case first, and then do the inside ones because there's so many little holes where the plates would cover that it's hard to see where all they go. So if I know exactly how many screws I have left, it's a lot easier to find them. Because then I can guess on, oh, it's going to be about this much spacing between two screws. But some laptops are pretty picky. That's all the screws. She must have been missing screws because there's definitely supposed to be one, two, two more, but there's none in here. So she's missing two screws. Thankfully, I got a bucket of screws. So I'll donate some screws to a good cause. One of those things the customer is never going to know, and it honestly isn't going to make a difference. She's not going to use this computer for the next 50 years. But it, it is nice to know that you did the job right. Alright, so put hard drive cover on, put those two screws in, put this cover on. And we're gonna put these two screws in. Oh, it only has one. Put the battery in. And let's see if it uh, messes up. I already feel the fan. Oh, it feels beautiful. Windows logo. And we got the uh, pinwheel orbs. So there's no. Oh, this still popped up. There we go. Uh, there's no uh, CPU error anymore. I'll let it boot all the way up and then I'll turn it back off. I actually can't show you the screen. It probably has their name. We're gonna. I'm gonna let it boot up and then I'll show you the screen. But uh, that's it. That's how you fix the uh, fan on a, a blue HP laptop. Oh, come on, Windows. She might have other problems she doesn't know about. Uh, let's see. Loady, loady, loady. 
data transfer is getting close. So cool. This might work out perfect. All right, Windows 10 is still loading. It's still a black screen. But there's no CP fan error, which means the job is done. I'm going to wait for Windows 10 to load. Turn the key back off. Give her a call. Ready for pickup. Uh, see you all next time I have a uh, stream group here. Anyways, have a good day.